The ethics of authorship, I think that's a really, that's a really good question. Um, I'm not convinced that authorship is anything other than a desire for control. Um, and that as soon as you talk about a desire or a need for um, authorship, um, then someone somewhere um, is is trying to impose their their control over something, and that um, authorship and control um, are well uh, well organised within structures of power, um, power and control. So um, I think authors um, and uh, the need or the perceived need for an authorial voice or um, or, or the, the equivalent in, in film. Um, I, I, I think of, uh, also in music, I have a background also in music, and I think of conductors, for example, um, as having, as being the locus for a vision or um, a particular, um, a particular way of understanding a piece that needs to be delivered through them and by them. Um, that, that has its models also in design. I can think of I can think of the um, historical um, Italian Renaissance schools of design with, uh, with the studio head who has the vision and everyone works to it. But it's still a, a dominant model in many places today. Um, I'm not convinced by that and I would prefer to, s to see um, a, a distribution of control amongst, amongst the different people. Um, who participate in different ways.